Eddie Kasegi, I play Laurent in uh, Twilight, Twilight New Moon. In New Moon, do you want to explain basically how your role develops? In Twilight, my character is uh, he's, he's a vampire. He's traditionally a vampire. He needs to kill human beings in order to survive. But he's not all bad. Mm -hmm. He's got a sort of moral compass. He, he knows right and wrong. So he warns the Cullens that James is bad. So, you know, he shows some compassion. But in New Moon, he's less conflicted. He's been to um, Alaska. He's tried his hand at vegetarianism. He doesn't like it. It's not for him. He'd rather just eat a nice, delicious human being. Mm -hmm. So he comes back to New Moon ready to kill, ready to eat. How did you um, prepare for for, um, for the first movie, um, I might have over-prepared. I might have. I did, I did a lot of work that maybe wasn't necessary. Why? I came up with an entire backstory um, for my character who he would have been friends with 300 years ago really? in France. Um, wow. What, what they did together. How did you do that? <laughs> I just, what I just, you do that? I just created it uh, because I was fascinated with uh, St. George. He was a uh, renowned fencer general in, in France and a renowned lover. He was a Renaissance man. And I thought, you know, it would be interesting if Laurent was his contemporary 300 years ago in France. And, you know, they were friends and he got turned, but he had that sort of refined uh, lifestyle. Because my character is slightly French, I, I decided to try to learn as much French as I could before we filmed, so I could get the accent down. I was eating at French restaurants all the time. <laughs> I tried to get a French girlfriend, <laughs> didn't work. So I, I over prepared. Going into New Moon, I didn't have to do as much work because the work was already done in yeah. Twilight, so I just showed up and, and learned the new lines and then I did the work. Did you do that for a lot of different Twilight was. Uh, like I said, I think I overprepared, but that's also, that's also where I find a lot of joy in what I do, mm -hmm. the detective work, like going and doing as much research as you can, mm -hmm. which is why I'm really fascinated by uh, real life characters. Like I would love a chance to play historic uh, personalities, people who have actually existed oh, okay. because there's real you know, documentation, yeah. video footage in so some cases, that you can do the detective yeah. work because that's what excites me. Um, so for, for all my roles, as much as I can, I like to do that detective work. Yeah. I think it's important to feel confident as an actor in what you're doing. So there's not a question in your mind whether or not you're being authentic yeah. and whether mm -hmm. or not what you're conveying is true because you feel like it's true. Yeah. If you weren't playing Laurent and Tyler's who would you play? Um, Jean-Pierre, Laurent's twin brother. We're creating a, a, a new story. Oh, the okay. I was a bit like a scare of a Twilight fan, I swear. <laughs> I said, but I never heard of that character. <laughs> My character has an untimely demise, so we got to figure out a way to bring him back. <laughs> Jean Pierre, played by none other than Eddie Gusecki. What character would I want to play? Uh, James. Because where Laurent goes sort of back and forth with naughtiness, James is just. James is hardcore evil. He's hardcore evil. And I'm just too good in my life that sometimes I just like to play bad. It's fun to play bad. Women like the bad boy, right? <laughs> when you were younger, who did you look up to? Like, who was your idol? My father was a, an idol for me because his story is, is phenomenal. He came to the United States with $50 and a suitcase. Wow. And just like the American dream. And then he brought my mother, my brother, and I out within one year working three jobs, one of which is a newspaper delivery boy, man. Um, and now he's a professor, he's got five degrees from UC Berkeley, one of the most prestigious universities in our country, and you know, I get to pursue my dreams and I get to do what I want because of his sacrifices and his hard work.